Oh, whoa, good fish. What is that? He's a cracker. Good morning everyone. So for those of you guys who watch my videos, you would know that some of my favorite things to do are explore new systems and chase really big estuary perch. So this morning, that is exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna be exploring a bunch of new systems today, trying out some new lures, and hopefully we'll be able to crack on and catch an absolutely massive estuary perch. That's gonna be the goal for today. Although it is really cold this time of year, I've been told that it is the perfect time to be chasing these big estuary perch. So hopefully this morning, we'll be able to get out here, explore some new systems and just have a bit of fun. So anyway, let's get out there, get the kayak set up and start fishing. All right, let's get out there. Take a look at this beautiful morning little absolutely amazing little system i've drove past here a heap of times but i've never thought to fish it amazingly i've never thought to fish it so today that's what we're going to do a lot of snags along the bank on this side a beautiful beautiful inlet with a lot of current pumping in so i reckon that's where we're going to start off first of all so let's get out on the kayak get the first cast in oh a lot of rocks bit of a bumpy so we have one rod already rigged up with a cicada, but we're not gonna use that. We got out here a little bit later than what I would have hoped. We'll use a soft plastic, I reckon. Okay, so this is the first lure, which we're gonna be using a little paddle-tailed soft plastic. Probably one of my favorites. It's a 2.75 inch Munro's in Swarf. So I reckon we're just gonna target this little eddy first up, because I know that fish absolutely love eddies, and you could catch anything around here. Jewfish, estuary perch, absolutely anything so we'll give it a crack first up it's absolutely howling through here look <laughs> it's not looking too good it's too fast i think look at it. it just rips through here all right we'll try the other side current is way too quick here <laughs> look at it howling look at it before we go all out and just throw soft plastics, I'm actually gonna throw around this little surface cicada just to see if we can get a late morning surface hit because that'll be really epic and cool. So I'm just gonna target these shallow mangrove edges where there's still a bit of shade and hopefully there's some fish hiding in that cover. There we go. Oh, that was one. <sighs> well, we lost the first lure of the day. There's actually a heap of fish down there, but they don't seem to be feeding. We had one good bite and they haven't came back since. They're actually on the side scan at the moment. See those shadows? They're all fish. So they're down there. Definitely down there. Could be mullet, but I don't think they're mullet. There we go. Got, got something. Feels very small. What is it? Very small. First fish of the day is a little Trevor. Wasn't expecting that. Well, first little fish of the day in a new system. You can't complain with that. Cute little Trevally. We'll let him go. See ya, buddy. There's a lot more down there too, if they are all trips. Another one. Another Trev, I think. Yeah, it's got to be another Trev. What are we thinking? Oh, what is that? That could be a perch. It is a perch. There we go. There are estuary perch there too. Nice. Only a little fella, but that's a good sign. Very good sign. He's actually not too bad at all. On that pink little plastic, this is actually becoming one of my new favorite colors, this little pink 2.75 inch 
soft plastic. How cool is that? Literally next cast after we just caught that little Trevor and this nice S3 perch has came and played the game. Beautiful little fish, yet again on that little soft plastic. Let's let him go. Awesome little fish. Oh, it's actually nine foot deep here. Fairly deep, that's good. Oh, that was another one. Seems to be a few stacked up in this area. I keep sounding up a heap of fish and they're pretty much just hugging along the bank. And I've seen, I've sounded them up from that first tree over there all the way along to about here. So, seems to be a little school. First one was a trevally, second one was an estuary perch. And I actually think we've had a couple more estuary uh, perch hits as well. Usually the estuary perch, they're very distinctive hits. They're kind of just a sudden thud in the line. So, I reckon we've had a couple more on. There we go. Another one picked it up. Oh, oh, this one feels a bit better too. Definitely feels better. I reckon it's a perch. Don't think it's Trevally. Trevally have those constant head shakes. Yep, that's a perch. So usually when they're doing this, they're not fully feeding. They're feeding a little bit, but they're not committing to the plastics. So that's why we keep getting the hits, but no hookups. Not huge by any means, but still that's an estuary perch. And as I said, he's foul hooked under the belly. Beautiful, second estuary perch of the morning. Always good signs when you go to a new system and you start getting fish straight away. Take a look at the eye on these fish, just so beautiful. Anyway, let's get him going. Hopefully we can start to upgrade, find some bigger models, but still, cracking start to the morning. Boom. So we've picked up a few fish on that little pink paddle tail. So what I'm gonna do is actually change up the profile a little bit, just to see if we can connect with a few more fish. So we've gone over to this little curly tail grub. It's a much smaller profile, but this curly tail has an absolutely incredible action. There's about to be a lot of traffic down here, which is not ideal. Take a look at all these paddle waters. There we go. Oh, I dropped him. Try out the paddle again. Oh, that was a hit on the way down. That's a better fish. Oh no, he got off. No. That was a very good fish. There we go. That's one. That's a good one too. He's not doing anything though. Not fighting yet. That's definitely a perch. Yes, it is. There we go. Same exact spot. We just lost that last one. Same spot. Not as big as that last one we lost, but still a perch. Whoop. There he is. So good, we literally launched just there and there's a heap of fish stacked up just along this ledge. Look at that, that 2.75 inch purple paddle tail by Munro's is definitely one of my new favorite soft plastics. It just absolutely slays. We tried like the old faithful swarf color, didn't get a hit, but this purple one just seems to be slaying him. Anyway, let's get the hook out a little, mate. Get him going. Thanks for the fight, mate. See you later. There he goes. Look at all these paddle waters. <laughs> Look at them all. They're gonna make it tough. I've never seen more paddle waters in my life. There we go, on again. <laughs> Got off. Another one. Well, I'm gonna call that a trip here. There's just too many people. There's too much activity. There's probably been at least 20 to 25 of those paddle borders go past. And I'm pretty sure they've spooked all the fish the whole way up the system. Now, there's a few systems which are fairly close to here. So what I'm gonna do is go on Google Earth, Google Maps, choose one of those, and then we're gonna go fish one of those instead. Well, we didn't have any more success on this particular day, but we did head out over the following days to explore some new systems and hopefully upgrade on the quality of fish. So the weather for the next few days here where I live is gonna be absolutely horrible. I mean, 20 knot winds, 20 mil of rain every day. So this is gonna be our only window of opportunity to fish. And a funny thing happened this morning, I actually woke up, looked outside, and it was super, super windy. 
So we actually made a last second change of plans and drove about two hours away from home. And we're gonna be fishing this brand new system this morning. Never been here before. So I don't really know what to expect. Don't even know what we're gonna catch, but hopefully we'll be able to get into something. So first impressions are that this system actually looks a lot like some of my local ones. So that's how we're gonna approach it today. We're gonna to target and fish this system like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to check it out. It looks pretty good. So let's go get the kayak set up, come back down and get out there. All right, it's actually not too bad out here this morning. I was very nervous driving all of this way because as I said, it was blowing 20 to 30 knots when I left my house this morning. And the forecast for here was still 10 to 15. So it's gonna be pretty windy today, but at the moment we've got a little window. So we better make the most of it before this wind starts to fire up a bit. All we're gonna be targeting out here is just these really shallow banks. So over here, it's like one foot, two foot, and it slowly drops off into about nine foot. So we're just gonna be targeting those edges, sounding up, looking for fish. And yeah, as I said, never fished here before, so I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything out here, but we're just gonna be trying everything today. Giving everything a go, and hopefully finding a technique which works. It's just very weedy and shallow. Hmm, no good out here, I don't think. We'll start making our way back up the river. There we go, there we go, we got one. Oh, whoa, good fish. What is that? It hit like a perch, definitely hit like a perch. This could be a very good one. It is, very good perch, very good. Yes, just near those mangroves there. That's a good fish. Yes, that's a beast. Just switch back over from that surface lure to the plastic and bang, straight away. Yes, wow, he went hard for a perch. He went very hard. He's a cracker. <laughs> wow, new system and the first fish of the day is an absolute cracker. Oh, what a way to start the day. We've been fishing for about an hour and 15 minutes so far and we've got the first one. <sighs> All right, 40 centimeter cracker for the first fish of the day. That is just epic. Anyway, hopefully there's some more around. I'm stoked on that. Either way, new system, first hour of fishing. You can't complain with that. We're in the trees again. Whenever you get that first fish in a new system, it just relieves the pressure big time. <laughs> Makes the big mission worth it and that last second decision really worth it. After that first fish, which we got really quickly, I had a feeling it was gonna be a really good day, but it did not turn out to be. Yeah, For the next six hours of fishing, we actually only managed to catch one mullet and that's it. But sometimes that's how it goes. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, comment your thoughts below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.